so to find out about Travell, his head wrestling coach was a guy by the name of Henry Harmony, who was a graduate from Kearney High School. And my brother was Henry's assistant coach in Arlington, Texas at Arlington High School. And so Henry had called me up and he said, I have a, a dark horse for you, a, a guy that I really think could do really well in college, but he's only been wrestling for three years. And I, you know, I, immediately that's kind of like a red flag. And you know, Travell weighed like 210 pounds at the time and just coming into college, he, was, he had just turned 17 years old, so he was a really young kid, and you just never know. You never know how somebody's gonna to adjust to a collegiate level. Travell was a sponge when he first came in. Uh, right when the school year started, he had come to, into the office and he said, he asked me, he goes, is there, Coach, do you have video on, on the guys on the team, of the guys on the team? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And before the first practice had come, he had watched everybody's video. And I remember coming into the wrestling room and he was out there impersonating every wrestler on the team and the guys were trying to guess who, he, who it was, just by their stance, the way they moved. And I thought to myself, you know, that, it's really kind of interesting that somebody was that interested in learning how everybody moved and how he picked up on it so quickly. But honestly, as he, as he progressed through his college career, one of the things I learned about Travell was that he is very laser beam focused on something that he's interested in. He figured out that he was a wrestler and he committed to it and he wanted to be the best he could be and so he put all of his attention into doing just that. And he went literally from maybe like a 13 and 10 record his red shirt year to winning over 30 match, matches that freshman year in All-American, you know, finishing with a, I think a sixth place finish at the national tournament and earning All-American honors. So he was off to a good start. You know, 2008 was the first year we won the national tournament. Travell was a big part of that, obviously. Coming down to the end of the tournament, Travell was, was the final match and we were losing by three and a half points. And all we needed was for him, no pressure, to go out and win a national title for us. That he had clinched the national championship by winning the last match of the national tournament, which was really special. And in 2008, he went from helping our team win a national championship, our first national championship, to earning a spot on the 2009 world team, the freestyle team. And he went on to place third at the Worlds that year. Big shot, Terrell. And we have a victory for the United States, Terrell Delagnan. And, and beyond that, you know, his, his career, he just continued to blossom because, again, he was just a sponge absorbing all different kinds of techniques. So we've seen good, strong defense to score the final points. I remember him coming back and working with our kids in our program or even coming to some of our camps. And he taught us a lot. He taught our program, he taught our, our wrestlers a lot of, of different techniques that that went on to become kind of staples in our in our program. Uh, but anyway, he went on to, you know, make five world teams and two Olympic teams. And then just this, just recently, uh, he was awarded the bronze medal from the 2012 Olympics in London and those times were very special for our program even after he was gone. He truly put UNK wrestling on the map and I'm not talking just the national map. He put us on the world map and I don't think there's anybody more deserving than the, of, of being inducted into our Hall of Fame here at UNK.